Hi friends, welcome back to Cadaval. This is Engineer Ibrahim Umar, and today we will convert a solid body to sheet metal part inside SolidWorks. Uh, I am using SolidWorks 2020, and I will provide its file so you can download from uh, the description link. Uh, so here uh, uh, you can see that uh, I have used uh, a solid body, and uh, then I have used a command called convert to solid. Uh, to convert that uh, solid part into sheet metal. Basically, this tutorial is divided into three parts. Uh, in the first part, we'll make this solid body, and in the second part, we'll convert that solid body to sheet metal, and in the third part, we'll use uh, sheet metal tool flatten to create uh, its blank, and we'll uh, save this file to AutoCAD DXF for machining. So let's go to a new, and select part, and select OK. And now we are in SolidWorks interface. So first of all, as usual. I will change my background to plain white and I will set my units to MGS. Okay. Uh, let's go to here front plane, select a sketch, and we'll make a center rectangle here. Uh, now we'll dimension this uh, rectangle, and uh, this horizontal dimension is let's say 160 millimeters, and this vertical dimension is let's say 120 millimeters. So let's change it to 120, and uh, let's go to here features, boss extrude. And I will extrude it from mid plane, and extrusion would be let's say 17, and select OK. Uh, next is uh, uh, we'll create a sketch on this face, and we will uh, cut extrude it. So let's go to your sketch, select this face, view normal, and uh, I will make uh, let's say a corner rectangle on this side, and uh, let's make one line here and uh, go back to this line again so this line would be converted into an arc and i will end this arc somewhere here okay now uh, let's dimension this uh, let's say this dimension is 30 and this dimension is let's say 35 okay and uh, the radius is let's say 50 and uh, let's say this dimension uh, sorry i will make first uh, one line here and I will join this line to this to make a close contour. Okay, let's go to here smart dimension and let's say this dimension is 22. And uh, there is a relation, yes, you can see that it is tangent. And uh, we have uh, still underdefined, so let's go to here smart dimension and let's make this dimension is let's say 40. And now you can see that this sketch is fully defined. Okay. So let's go to your features. This time I will use cut extrude and I will use throughout cut extrude. Okay. You can use this option throughout and select OK. So now this solid part is created. You can see here solid bodies and now we will convert this solid part to sheet metal. Okay. Well, if you don't find this option sheet metal, just right click here and go to your tabs and you will find this option sheet metal. Okay. So let's go to here convert to sheet metal and now you can see. Uh, sheet metal thickness is 2 mm and uh, default radius that is the band radius is 3 mm and uh, Okay, so select uh, select a fixed entity. Basically it is uh, uh, It is that phase where your sheet metal part is uh, starting. So I will uh, Select this phase as my base phase. Okay. Now you can see that uh, Preview and we can reverse thickness as well. Okay uh, next is uh, uh, We will use band edges and uh, let's try let's say this one and it is saying that uh, the edge face selected for a bend is not same on the side of the fixed face so basically uh, we have uh, to make flanges and we have to select this face okay these all faces so my uh, flanges will be created and now you can see that the rip edges solidworks uh, uh, smartly taken all the rip edges automatically okay and uh, for band edges, I will select, let's say this one and uh, you can see preview as well here. And uh, I will select this one as band edge, this one also, this one and okay. This cylindrical face uh, will not be part of my uh, sheet metal body. And uh, uh, I haven't uh, used any rip sketch and uh, uh, we can change these corners, we can change these gaps these uh, rib caps let's say i will change it to four so you can uh, see in the preview you can see that and we can change these as well overlap underlap and uh, uh, but i will use this one open button okay 
and I will change it to let's say 2 mm and we can change uh, K factor auto relief and I will use let's say a, a rectangular with 0.5 okay we can change uh, these to let's say or bound or tear but I will use rectangular okay so let's check this box okay and now you can see that this uh, uh, solid body is converted into sheet metal uh, so I will use a sketch here and I will use uh, a rip sketch command so I will just drag this to somewhere here and let's go to here the sketch and uh, I will use this face and I will make one line here okay let's make normal to and I will make one line here okay and uh, I will exit this sketch and I will drag it to uh, let's say here first I will exit this sketch and now I can drag it okay so let's go to here convert to solid and uh, this time I will use rip sketch under this drop down okay rip sketches and I will use this one and uh, let's make this one this one okay so now you can see that this solid part is converted into sheet metal and uh, uh, this default radius is uh, 3mm and uh, this is the uh, uh, rip sketch and uh, uh, these are the uh, cutouts uh, so now we can use uh, any uh, sheet metal command on this uh, newly uh, created sh uh, sheet metal body so let's go to here let's say uh, sketch and I will select this face and I will use this command circle and I will make one circle having let's say uh, diameter 40 and uh, I will use uh, throughout uh, uh, cutout so let's go to your sheet metal and uh, extruded cut and I will use uh, through all and select ok uh, similarly we can apply gusset uh, basically uh, we can apply any command to this sheet metal body now and it is not a solid body so let's try a gusset command and I will search for gusset command. So select this one sheet metal gusset and I will select this one and uh, 10 mm offset and select OK. Uh, I will not change any parameter select OK and now you can see that a gusset command is added. Uh, we can use mirror feature. So let's go to your features and uh, under this drop down I will find mirror and I will use uh, this face as mirror plane and I will select this feature and select OK. So now you can see that uh, we can add any command to this uh, sheet metal body uh, that uh, we have converted from solid body OK. And uh, lastly I will use flatten feature so that we can create its blank. So let's go to your sheet metal and I will use this option flatten. And now you can see that this sheet metal is uh, uh, flattened and we can make its blank using DXF file ok so we'll save this file and uh, let's flatten this one and let's go to here save as and uh, this time I will use uh, this option uh, DXF uh, basically DWG and DXF are the AutoCAD extension files so I will use this one DXF and I will select uh, part 2 because I already created this exercise so I will uh, choose this as part 2 or maybe uh, a tutorial and select ok so now this file will be saved in the uh, uh, DXF format and I will use uh, let's say annotation views uh, sheet metal and uh, annotation views and uh, select OK. So now this file will be saved in AutoCAD extension. Uh, so DXF file is uh, created and now we can save this file. And uh, now we can use this file as uh, a DXF and we can create its blank from uh, any CNC machine. So uh, uh, that's it for uh, uh, today's tutorial. Uh, I hope you like it. And if you have any questions, any queries related to this tutorial or any other tutorial in my list, uh, you can ask in comment section. Uh, thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel for more informative and interesting videos. Thank you.